How's it going, guys? Today is March 10th, 1226 a.m. So, pretty late um, getting my vlog out today, but I'm trying something new. Um, I always like to try different things to see um, kind of how my views react. Um, but as I was thinking of what today, what to do today's vlog on, um, I noticed that I'm staying up pretty late today to get a couple of things done. And what I wanted to talk about today was finding the time for yourself, your quiet time, in order to get things done. Um, and sometimes I'd like to do it on a daily basis myself, but I don't always get around to. It. So um, today was a little bit of a of a busy day for me. Um, was doing a bunch of stuff before I went to work. Um, then decided to have lunch with my wife and then uh, ended up having to go to work and then spent some time at work and got off work and then got back into uh, doing homework um, and my wife had to uh, my daughter's still out of town but my wife had to go to bed um, early because she has to be up early I have to be up relatively early but not as early as she does she has to be I think it would work by 8 in the morning or something because she started some new training. But uh, the gist of today's vlog is to, you know, identify your time, your quiet time, your peaceful time away from anything, any and all distractions to just really focus in on maybe some stuff that you have to do on a daily basis. Now, depending on how much quiet time you need, really depends on your schedule, your availability, and you know what you need to accomplish for that during that quiet time so um, for me I have a you know I got a couple of assignments that are due this Sunday by midnight for uh, college for my university so I'm trying to um, have a relatively stress-free weekend so I stay up late sometimes trying to complete those assignments um, during the week um, I was looking at a timeline for what I have going on the rest of this weekend and I didn't really see too much opportunity or too much chance to get those assignments done. Um, I pretty much have um, this evening to get them done um, and a couple other times before the span of the weekend runs out. Um, but I do have to work along with that and then trying to plan to do a couple other things in between here and there. But I noticed that there is a, you know, there's a huge demand um, from my time now a little bit more than ever and choosing how I break up that time sometimes is um, you know it, it can be stressful sometimes but most times I just uh, delegate time and create certain time slots in order to complete certain things and I find my free time my distraction time tends to be mostly at night for me is when I really get to wind down relax and um, sometimes it's relaxed sometimes it's just hone in on getting schoolwork done for myself. So as I was, uh, like I said, figuring out what to do today, I decided to take a break from homework, do the vlog, and then get back into my homework. Probably do two vlogs um, tonight so I can uh, go ahead and knock out tomorrow's vlog as well, um, since it technically is tomorrow. But you have to set aside that time for you. And if you do it on a daily basis, um, just in order to keep your life on track, keep things kind of going smoothly, and in order to progress and keep moving forward, I think dedicating some time to, you know, yourself and, and to accomplish the things you need to accomplish to keep moving forward um, is very important. For me, um, it's either uh, way early in the morning or very late at night when the rest of my family is sleeping because the house tends to be really quiet. I'm able to concentrate and focus. Um, when I try to do it during, you know, when my family's up, there's a lot of distractions. I can't quite focus. I can't quite put into the time. Like distraction free time is so much more intense than uh, distraction. You know, having a bunch of distractions while you're trying to complete something. And it takes you, you know, it could take you up to three times as long to complete the same task with distractions, whereas if you didn't have those distractions, you might be able to complete the task faster. So set a, setting aside some time in order to complete those tasks um, in a more effective manner is, um, excuse me, is crucial to, you know, 
for me moving ahead and staying on top of things that I need to get done on a daily basis. So find out what times work for you and I'm not talking about necessarily reward or leisure time. Yeah, if you have a chance to fit that in your schedule because you've had such a productive day, then try to fit that in your schedule. But if you haven't had a productive day um, and a majority of your day you spent in the leisure um, side of the side of the fence, then um, maybe you need to, you know, readjust your schedule uh, depending on how successful you want to be. I've said it before, but if you look at a very successful person's day, um, we're all afforded the same amount of hours, minutes, seconds in a day. If you look at a very successful person's day, they um, utilize their time to the best of their ability and maximize um, every minute within that day. And they plan, tend, they tend to plan down to the minute of what they're going to be doing every single day because their time is so valuable that they have to manage it very well in order to um, be successful. So that kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm saying, finding that you know deliberate time to take care of the things or the quiet time to where you need to concentrate and focus and, and be able to get things done that you haven't been able to accomplish or that you need to accomplish by a certain time frame um, will you know it'll give you the opportunity to do those things if you set aside some what I would call quiet time. Um, and like I said, for me, um, having a kid, it's, it's either very early in the morning or very late in the evening. Like I said, it's uh, 12.33, which isn't um, too, too late. Um, but I also, as I gear towards the weekends, I like to groom myself into staying up a little bit later um, because I do have to work, um, you know, uh, long uh long and late shifts on Fridays and Saturdays um, from about 4.30 in the afternoon till about 3 in the morning. Um, and that's not um, too crazy for some people who have been in that similar situations, um, but it can put a demand on your time. So knowing that I'm not going to have those available time slots to be up the next two evenings, I pretty much have to get the work that I need to get done tonight or the next two days in order to make sure that my assignments are turned in on time on Sunday. And if I wasn't backwards planning in order to see the gaps in times that I have available to get the work done, um, I may be caught in a procrastinative state where I'm trying to figure out how to do everything on the last minute on Sunday and to me, that's not, I don't really like to work that way and, and be under a time crunch on the last day. Sometimes it works for people and sometimes it has worked for me and I have done it in the past where you procrastinate so much just because it's not important to you. And then you end up wasting a lot of time doing other things instead of just tackling the problem head on when you had plenty of time to do it before. There's many a nights where I stay up till... I don't know, wee hours of the morning, two, three, four in the morning. And um, I was like, man, like I'd just be sitting on the couch watching some movies or watching um, TV with my wife or, or something, just trying to spend quality time. But I was like, man, if I would have put that time into doing this or doing that, would I, I wouldn't have to worry about doing that tomorrow or stressing about it. So time management is, is very critical. Finding that quiet time on a daily basis will trust me it'll give you um, it, it's almost like some sort of freedom for myself to just get the things that I need to get done that don't necessarily require places to be open it's just common tasks that take place at my house and gives me the opportunity to help concentrate and focus on those uh, more critical thinking type of uh, uh, tasks that need to be accomplished so That'll be it for today's vlog. I think I'm going to do a follow-up one here pretty soon, probably within the next couple of minutes for tomorrow um, because my schedule is going to be very tight tomorrow and I'm trying to make sure that I stay on top of things because I know I'm not going to be able to do it in the evening. So I'd have to get it done during the day, but I have some commitments during the day as well. So this evening looks like it's going to be a busy night for me. So. 
appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. I believe I'm still at 39 subscribers. Still trying to get to 50 by the end of the month, and I still uh, do firmly believe that that's going to be possible for me. Um, been getting some good feedback from uh, some people now that I work with, now that I'm starting to share this stuff a little bit more and more um, within the, my circles of friends. So appreciate their feedback too. Sometimes they don't get a chance to leave comments here online, but I do get sometimes a, a live feedback when I'm out and about in the public and get feedback from people that don't get a chance to leave it. So I appreciate all that as well. So again, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on the next one.